ain't paying us enough for this man. Private Drake from Aliens. Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are on Alien Sunday and today we are painting Private Mark Drake First Class. He was the smart gun operator with the United States Colonial Marine Corps, part of 2nd Battalion Bravo Team, and he was a member of the combat unit deployed to LV-426 aboard the USS Salco in 2179 to investigate the sudden loss of contact with the colony Hadley's Hope. He ultimately perished as a result of the xenomorph infestation at the colony. Drake was part of the 2nd Squad's gun team along with Hicks. He had a long history with fellow smart gun operator Private Jeanette Vasquez and the two shared a close, possibly romantic, relationship. He was killed during the early stages of the operation when an exploding drone showered him in acid. Ugh, what a horrible way to go, man. So, as you can see, he's primed black, heavily dry brushed, or with the classic pallid witch flesh that I always do. And we kicked things off with sand golem on his fatigues. Now, during this paint job, I'm going to dip in and out to tell you stories about him. Nothing too exciting, just something to help pass the time, you know the deal. And if I happen to miss a part of paint whilst we're going through some background, I'll try and repeat it later in the video. So, who was Private Mark Drake? Let's have a little read of his personality and traits. As with several of the other Marines, Drake seemed to have a degree of contempt for his job often complaining that he was underpaid. When told by Lieutenant Gorman that the camera on his head mounted sight was malfunctioning, he decided to fix the problem by smashing the device against the nearest support beam. Fortunately, it actually fixed the problem. Similarly, Drake had issues following orders that he felt compromised the team, such as when disobeying instructions to deactivate his smart gun within the reactor. Despite his gruff attitude, Drake was a chronic prankster who was always engaging in light-hearted joking with his squad mates or playing tricks on other members of the team, particularly against Hudson. He was very close to his fellow smart gun operator Vasquez. The two could often be found training together and encouraging each other in their disruptive behaviour and may or may not have been involved in a romantic relationship. That was not hinted in the Vasquez novel that they had a romantic relationship. I honestly believe they were just good, good friends. So as you can see, we're on the grim black and you could probably tell my fingers flipped backwards. So I will fix that in the next clip. It's always comical when you leave that on. So I got the grim black. I thought his name plate looked weird when I'm doing this voiceover. It's because I got the video round backwards, All right? I'm putting on the grim black that's going to be on his shoes and the smart gun and the camera pack on his shoulder. I'm pretty much copying every other paint job that I've done for the Marines so far. They are meant to be a unit. They're going to look similar. So it is pretty much cut and dry. If you've painted one following my technique, you've probably seen this before. But I find it helpful to do one model at a time. I could have done the whole squad in a single video and be done with them, but that seems a bit wasteful. Obviously each marine has slight quirks to the uniform. In this case Drake is wearing a baseball cap. But it's I find it interesting that you'll be able to see where I'm putting paint on every marine rather than oh I've done all the green onto the next thing. So I don't know why I just mimicked my voice in such a stupid way. <laughs> but yeah I find Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. If not, let me know in the comments. But we are, what well, this is probably three quarters of second squad. I've only got uh, another incinerator unit guy to do. I think it's Dietrich. It's the last one of this squad and then I'll have the first fire team done. Then we have Vasquez on the other one that's already painted. So that's one quarter of that done. Plus I got Apon paint plus I've got a Ripley and Newt to do and obviously Bishop the droid so I've got a few more weeks of alien paint to do and then finally we can play an actual goddamn game so as I'm painting the smart gun it's probably a good time to talk about Drake's equipment 
Drake was outfitted with an M56 smart gun, customized with the words my bitch painted on the right side forward of the charging handle, as well as the associated M56 combat harness and head mounted sight. On the rear armor plate of his battle harness, he had summarized his work ethic by stenciling the phrase, eat the apple and fuck the core. Drake was also proficient with the M240 incinerator unit. He was evidently a delinquent youth, if I can get my words out, and his crimes escalated until at a young age he was convicted of murder and sent to prison. It was there that he met Vasquez. The pair subsequently enlisted into the USCM under the Service or Jail Act, thereby escaping further jail time. Both Drake and Vasquez passed through boot camp together and afterwards requested assignment to the same unit. Both also chose to specialize in advanced weapon training, during which their smart gun drill instructor labeled the sweethearts on account of their close relationship though both continually denied having romantic relations. After the mission briefing on the way to LV-426, Drake and Vasquez continued to crack jokes at everyone's expense, displaying particular disdain towards Alan Ripley, whose status as a civilian advisor did not impress them. After the briefing, Drake and Vasquez busied themselves with preparing their smart guns before boarding the section's APC for the drop to the planet's surface. After landing, Drake and Corporal Hicks partnered off for the initial sweep of the abandoned colony complex. It was Second Squad who discovered Newt hiding in the colony's ventilation ducts, with Drake almost shooting her. When she startled him, only Hicks' intervention pushing Drake's smart gun aside at the last second saved the little girl's life. The Marines later made their way to the atmosphere processing plant in search of the other colonists. After discovering the Xenomorph Hive, Orders came down that the unit's pulse rifle ammunition was to be confiscated and the two smart guns deactivated to prevent stray gunfire from damaging the volatile reactor coolant system. While Drake and Vasquez promptly removed the batteries from their weapons rendering them inoperable, Vasquez produced two backups from her battle harness when Apone turned away, allowing them to discreetly reactivate the machine guns. It proved to be a fortuitous decision when the team was disastrously ambushed by a horde of drones. Drake and Vasquez were the only marines able to provide the section with effective cover, although the gunfire badly damaged the atmosphere reactor, as had been feared, and the station went into meltdown. As they attempted their escape to the APC, Drake failed to notice a drone emerging from a nearby wall to ambush him. He was spotted by Vasquez, who warned him before shooting it repeatedly with her smart gun. However, the ammo exploded the alien and fatally showered Drake with its acid blood. Flailing in agony, he inadvertently sprayed the APC with his incinerator before collapsing into the flames as he died, creating a fire the survivors had to deal with before they could close the door and escape. What a horrible way to go. Could not. Ugh, couldn't even imagine it. Really couldn't. You're covered in acid, you're slowly melting, and you're on fire. Um, at this point, as we were just talking about skin melting, we move on to the flesh stone, which of course is Crusader flesh. And I've pretty much told you everything there is about Drake. Like, he's appeared in other stuff, mostly as bit characters, but in Aliens 2 was his main thing. But he also appeared in the alien novel Outbreak, where he's in a dream, the Aliens Adventure game, Newt's Tale, Alien Space Marine, Nightmare Asylum, as an indirect mention, Alien Colonial Marine, where you can have him as a skin in multiplayer mode, and then a couple more books, so it doesn't really matter at all. It's mostly indirect mentions. He also had a toy by uh, Kenner Models. See if I can find a photo and pop that up. He looks hilarious. It's not a very good toy, I've got to be honest with you. It it seriously looks hilarious. But there we have it. That is Private Drake. We are almost at the end of this video. Just finishing up the flesh tones on him. 
going to paint his hat with absolution green. It's hard to tell. In the pictures I found of him, the green definitely is darker than the body armor. Kind of wanted to go red because I was getting Mighty Max vibes from him, but I know that's not movie accurate. And though I'm not a 100% movie accurate person, I feel like a red cap would be a step too far for us all. So I'm going to go with this dark green for it. Once it's fully dry, I'm going to paint up his base with metallics, pick out the nameplate a bit nicer. And I'm also going to cover the model in a dark brown wash just to help darken down some stuff. I'll probably leave his uh, fleshy areas as they are. Then we'll get some glamour shots. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope, uh, hope you learned something. Or at least I've inspired you to maybe pick up this game and paint your own kit. Let me know in the comments if you want to paint a set of these. And I'll see if I can find you a link to them. Otherwise, I'll catch you in another video again soon. Cheers for watching, make sure you join Discord and maybe buy me a cup of coffee. Boo boy!